What's up, guys? I'm going to do a deck profile video just to be uh, sure that uh, you guys can see the, the deck profile. Uh, I noticed that uh, using the uh, untap function to use a visual view allows you to see the cards uh, ahead of time. So I don't have to wait on uh, DBS Deck Planet. So that's good news for us. Uh, sorry I've been away for a while. Uh, I've been on holiday. And so since uh, Dragon Ball decided to drop a set uh, during the, the month of December, it's kind of wild to me that I have to do these spoilers uh, during the holidays. But I digress. Uh, we're going to go straight into the deck profile. So uh, what the leader does is when it does, uh, does declare an attack, you get to look at the top five cards for any yellow uh, universe six card in your hand. So that includes any sort of things that have traits in it that have a uh, universe six in it. So I'm not entirely sure if there's any sort of extra cards that have the universe six trait, uh, but you can search for those cards. And as well as you can search the battle cards that have the universe six cards. Uh, and then the way that this card awakens is uh, pretty unique. Um, when you have a Kale uh, in the uh, battle area and you have a Khalifa in the uh, combo area, uh, one, or, one or more of each uh, on the battle area, then you can uh, draw a card and switch a card uh, to active mode and then uh, add cards to your life uh, until you have six and then draw a card. So untap one, draw one, very classic um maneuvering uh but then you can then pretty much uh continue your plays pretty early especially on turn two uh, by, by the looks of it so you're built you're going to be able to awaken by turn two and then pretty much uh, be on the awakened side the uh, backside of this leader i know that the untap function doesn't allow you to see the backside but uh this is the backside uh it doesn't draw an attack but what it does do is whenever you combo you get to draw a card much like the bojack leader uh from the uh old set whenever you're able to combo a card you're able to draw a card so you're able to replace the card that you combo and allows you to keep your hand size uh, as a way of uh, generating an advantage as opposed to uh, using up uh, your drawing a card for your turn so this is a nice little way to draw a card uh, so whenever you attack and then you're able to combo for free uh, such as using uh, this particular kale for example not this kale sorry uh, using um so whenever you're able to attack uh, and combo for free, such as using this kill right here, this kill says uh, whenever this card attacks, use up to one mono yellow uh, universe six cards with an uh, with the five cost combo power uh, from your drop, and then with the skills negated, uh, this allows you to combo away a uh, Khalifa from the drop area uh, after you be able to send it off to the drop from the Z energy uh, to play something like a Kale's Rampage, for example. Uh, and then when you do that, uh, you can put the Kale or you can put the Khalifa into the combo area, and then it'll proc your uh, leader awakening. Um, but the main point that I wanted to make about this is, is that on the backside, whenever you are able to combo on an attack of using the uh, the Kale here, use the Kale to attack, uh, then you can combo and then draw a card using the leader ability. Make sure that you're able to attack on the front side before you awaken, so that you're at least able to generate a plus one. And on the back side, you're able to, uh, to generate an advantage when the, you uh, attack with the uh, Kale here. Uh, the combos are for free, and then you're able to draw a card uh, for free by uh, using the backside of your leader. So we're gonna go into the deck list real quick. Uh, I do play the uh, four of these, uh, four of this uh, Khalifa from the old set. Uh, this Khalifa is really important because uh, you need uh, all the Khalifas that you can to combo, so that you can play your, um, you can pretty much play your six drop and as well as your eight drop uh, Khalifa, uh, Kefla. Sorry, not Khalifa. So when you're able to combo, uh, they they both have the ability to co come out for activate battle for a certain amount of energy. This one, for example, uh, you have to have one yellow energy pay be paid and you have to have two or more energy and then uh when you chew at the end of the battle or at the end of the damage uh step for the for a battle where you have a khalifa in your combo area and a kale is in your battle area then you can pay the one yellow energy to play her on top of the uh on top of the kale and the khalifa from the combo area Draw a card, play this card, and then choose one of your opponent's uh, battle card in rest mode and KO it. So this is a way for you to remove, but also has an ability where if it attacks or activates blocker, you get to choose one of the cards from underneath the card, which is all the cards, the fusion materials, uh, to be able to combo, and then you're able to generate a plus one uh, using your backside of your leader on your opponent's turn so that you're able to draw a card and then block at the same time. Uh, that's the one Khalifa that you play, uh, and or sorry, that's one of the Kefas that you play. The other Kefa that you play is the the boss monster, uh, the boss um, battle card. 
So this card right here uh, can be played for two only if you have four or more energy. And then it's the same stipulation as the, the six drop uh, Kefla, where you need to have a Khalifa in the combo area and a Kale in the battle area. And then when you pay the two yellow energy, then you can play uh, this on top at the end of the damage step uh, and then draw a card and then place the chosen cards at the bottom. So this card has an ability where if you place a card from underneath this card in the drop and it attacks, you get to choose a battle card uh, in rest mode, ignoring barrier, and KOing it. And then during your next opponent's charge phase, they can only switch up to four of their cards to active mode. So it has double strike and dual attack, and it uh, makes it so that your opponent's kind of stunned uh, to only being able to uh, restand four of their energy. So this might be useful to keeping your opponent at uh, four energy uh, at most. So any any deck that util needs to utilize all their energy, such as blue, for example, where they play cards like... Um, Rise Vegeta, or Rise Jita, for example. Uh, it's the six drop that lets them ramp up to an uh, infinite amount of uh, energy. And then being able to use KO Ken to restand energy is kind of the idea of what they try to do. So uh, if you're able to shut off the Rise Jita, then this card is uh, a very very much a good card against the blue matchup uh yeah but that's pretty much it the uh the six drop and the eight drop allow you to use the um pump bump up your uh your z leader as well as your backside of, uh, of your uh of your regular leader the both the z leader and the backside of your regular leader uh gets a 5k boost whenever a kefla a yellow kefla uh is played so if you're able to generate a kefla on your opponent's turn for example then the leader becomes a plus five for the whole turn so uh this for example gets the plus five for the whole turn if you're able to do it prior on your turn then you can swing for 25k and that's really strong as well the, the z litter is amazing it has an amazing stat line uh if you're ever able to bring her out uh which is going to be pretty common she's a 20k base stat uh she required that she requires that you have to be as three or less life which is really easy because you're going to be using the kale's rampage here to get your life lower and then when you get your life lower down to three then you are able to z awaken for no energy cost whatsoever but you do have to pay the two z energy of two uh to play her out but it's a good investment because because once she's out, she's a 20k base. Whenever she attacks, she draws a card. And you get to switch one of your opponent's battle cards or units into rest mode. As well as whenever you play a... Or whenever one of your mono yellow Kefla uh, battle card attacks, you get to draw a card. So uh, a lot of drawing. You're able to ge generate a plus 2. You're able to get a plus 5 uh, whenever a Kefla is played. And then on top of that, you're able to rest one of your opponent's battle cards in unison. So a lot of, lot of boys, a lot of potential... Uh, that this leader has. I play the one Mighty Blast. Uh, you have to play Mighty Blast in today's format. Being able to combo uh, an extra 10k on your opponent's turn or as well as your turn whenever they're trying to go all in and having this on the board to allow you to block the attack is a must. The Z battle card that they do play is the SS2 Kale, uh, which is the Kale that can come out from the Z energy uh, for only one energy, uh, assuming you have the Kale's Rampage out there. And she's able to generate a double strike ability if you have a Khalifa in your combo area and it gains that uh, double strike ability. So for one energy, you're able to attack for 15k and then when you combo Khalifa, She's a 20k double striker. So uh, very nice one energy 20 k uh, Really staple, I think. But you only need to have two uh, at the end of the day because your main boss monster is going to be uh, th this card right here, the Surging Flash. Uh, the other cards right here are going to be cards like Defender of the Universe 6, which is a card that you can use at 5 or less life. So you do have access to a card that allows you to utilize this card if you have 5 or less life. When you do go down to 6 life using your leader's Awaken ability, then you want to use the Kill's Rampage to take one more life so so they get the get the super combo range and be able to use the magneta. The Magneta being a U6 card allows you to be searched by the Kale and Khalifa, but you're not going to be on the front side for very long. But you can also use the Bold uh, Khalifa, the, the, the Khalifa, the Bold Sister, to be able to look at the top five cards and add a yellow Universe 6 card among them and add it to your hand. So you have ways to add the Super Combo to your hand uh, by looking at the top five cards using uh, the Khalifa. Other than that, all the other cards allow you to draw a card. This one lets you draw a card, and it also lets you discard uh, it from your hand, and then you're able to... Um, Sorry, uh, when you do combo with this card and you discard a card from your hand, you get to play Kale in rest mode that costs energy cost of one. Uh, you're never, you're most likely never going to use this ability, but she is a Khalifa that you can combo that allows you to facilitate your awakening abilities. Uh, other than that, you pretty much play the SCR. I play the Piccolo and uh, Son Goku SCR, one of the best yellow SCR still. And even into the next coming metagame, being able to generate a plus 30 uh, as a combo power is really strong. I play the uh, Majibu Vile Onslaught as a good finisher. 
Uh, and then since you have a Z letter, you can play the Meta Cooler to be able to negate for free. And I play all the good yellow stuff, such as Bergamo, Ferocious Roar. Being able to tap down your opponent's energy is really nice because you are able to rest a lot of stuff, uh, even on your opponent's turn. You also have the Power of the Super Saiyan, uh, the two Freezes Arm Reinforcements, and the Tyrannical Blow. Uh, and then you have the four Robotic Reposts as well as the Vegito uh, counterplay here that allows you to tax your opponent on their turn so that they don't have much to do on the following turn so that everything is rested. Cards like uh, this right here, for example, is a free counterattack, but it doesn't negate the attack. It just makes it so that you get an uh, extra 5k boost uh, by playing her in rest mode. So it's, she's kind of like a combo power uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, but the cool thing about her is that uh, you get to play her for free if you have 3 or more energy. Uh, and that's all about that she does um and she only gets the 5k for it's basically you're able to combo her and then send her to the drop area very cuttable card i think uh she's pretty redundant i don't think she, uh, she should be played but i'm only gonna play two of her because she is a kale that she can be brought out uh, your main monsters that, that you can also play on the mid range is the SS Kale Rampaging Girl, which gives your gives herself critical. So when you're able to combo a Khalifa, she gets critical for the turn. So you can get an attack for 15k critical for one energy, and you're able to draw a card and replace her as well. And then we have the uh, Secret Identity, uh, the Sword for Retaliation Cooler, all the good yellow cards basically uh, being able to be played in this archetype. So enough talking, we're going to go into the deck file and see how the deck flows. Uh, see you guys on the next segment. All right, guys, this is going to be the gameplay video of the Kale and Khalifa leader that eventually turns into a Kefla. So we're going to do the uh, gameplay video. We're going to start right away. Okay, we're going to draw our sixth card here, and it uh, looks like we open up pretty well. Uh, we are able to see our Kefla, and we are all able to see our Khalifa. All we need now is our uh, Kale so to be able to combo for free. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this time magic here so that we can combo. Uh, we can set up our Vegito here, uh, but we don't need the Vegito and the Repost right away. We need our combo cards. So we're going to combo, uh, we're going to mulligan away our three cards here. Hopefully we draw into our Kale. Looks like we didn't draw our Kale. Hopefully we are able to draw into it uh, during the middle of the game. So we're gonna charge here our time magic. We're gonna char charge time magic. We're gonna pay the one energy to play the Khalifa. And then the Khalifa here is gonna look at the top five. Hopefully we're gonna see a Kale off the top. And let's see what happens here. Yep, we found our Kale. So this Kale here is gonna allow us to awaken on our next turn. So we're gonna add this to our hand here. On our next turn, uh, we're gonna combo away the Khalifa so that when they do attack us, we can combo it away. So we can play our Kale's Rampage. So we're gonna combo this. Uh, so we're now we have two copies of this. We're gonna charge this card right here. Uh, we're going to pay the 1 energy to send the Khalifa from the Z energy to the drop area so that we can play our Kale's Rampage. Uh, this is going to allow us to hit really hard with the Kale. Before we do that, uh, before we play our Kale, we're actually going to attack with the leader here. We'll go to the top 5 cards. And from there, we're going to look for a uh, Universe 6 card. So by the looks of it, we are have we have a Khalifa on her hand. So all we need now is just to keep our uh, critical pressure. So we're going to get the critical Kale here. Uh, since we do have uh, fusion materials okay so then they're, they're going to take the 10 here we're not going to combo on the attack we don't need to uh we're going to pay the one energy to play this uh this kale here uh, who will allow us to draw a card if we have two or more energy and our backside is uh kefla patora fusion dilemma so it's leader locked so we're going to be able to draw a card and then from there we're going to attack the with the the, the kale here the kale here is going to be able to use a universe six from our drop area which we will so now we've set aside the, the position, the the uh, satisfaction to be able to awaken. But this uh, Kale's Rampage also gives this Kale an extra 1k and it switches the battle card to rest mode. So if your opponent has a battle card in active mode, we can actually uh, send it to rest mode. But we do need to find a way to put another body on board, which we can. So we're going to rest, uh, let's pretend that they have a battle card. We're going to rest it with Kale's Rampage. And then what we're going to do is uh, we have our satisfied uh, awakening condition. We're going to untap one, draw one, take life until we have six. And thankfully enough, we do have our uh, Kefla that allows us to be played uh, by one energy at the end of the damage step. So this is now the end of the damage step. They're going to take the damage here, uh, hopefully. Uh, even if they don't, then we are able to still play it. We're going to play our Kefla on top of these two. So it's really hard to stack on here, but we're just going to do our best here. So this Kefla here, when it is played, you get to draw a card. Uh, and then if the, your opponent has uh, that card in rest mode, this will be able to KO without attacking it, which is really good. And then uh, if you want to attack with it, uh, be my guess. I would actually recommend attacking with it because it says when your yellow card is used in the combo area, you get to draw a card. So let's try to draw a card here. We're going to attack here, and we're going to combo away our Khalifa. 
uh, from our underneath. It's going to swing in for 21. And then we're going to draw a card off the leader ability so we can keep a big hand size as well. So then we're going to combo this away. So on our opponent's turn, whenever they try to attack our leader, uh, most likely they're not going to go for our leader. They're probably going to try to get rid of this uh, Kefla here and let her die. Uh, next turn, you're able to draw a card. Let's try to charge a yet another uh, extra card. So let's charge the reinforcement here so that we could um, pretty much uh, have all these... Uh, Repost live. I don't think that I see any repost here. So we're going to have to draw into our post if we want to be able to play it. Uh, we we still need a Kale to be able to attack so that we can play this guy out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pay the one energy. Play the Kale here. And then uh, with the Kale out, uh, then you could uh, draw a card. And then whenever she is attacking, you get to pump her up with the Kale's Rampage. But also being able to apply critical pressure is really nice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, we're going to attack with her. And then uh, from here, you're going to combo a maybe this Khalifa here. Uh, and then this Khalifa here is actually kind of proc your leader ability to draw a card. So now this is hitting for 15k critical. And then at the end of the damage step, uh, you're going to be able to uh, pay the one energy here to play this uh this uh, Khalifa. So make sure that when you do attack with this one, you're using the Rampage ability to rest one of your opponent's battle card if they do decide to clap back. And then this is going to allow you to KO it. So a lot of good board control in the early games. Uh, and then you're able to draw a card using the uh, uh, the, the Kefla here. So you're going to draw a card. And uh, we're, we're actually going to be at 6 life. Uh, so we're going to have to find a way to take a life. Or we could just keep it here without doing anything since we've already uh, comboed. Uh, so now this, uh, this is going to get a plus 5. Uh, from having a Kefla be played. So we're going to bump her up to 20k. So then we hit for 20k, and then we have a blocker here that could block uh, and then combo from something underneath. Uh, so the whole nine yards is already happening. So on your opponent's turn, you're probably going to uh, either take the damage down. So let's just try to take the damage down here to so five so that we could uh, finally play our super combo. Uh, we can probably block here to combo away our Kefla or Kale, and then our Kale is going to be away. When we combo on our opponent's turn, we're able to draw a card. So we're able to do a lot of different things here. Uh, and then uh, we can also use Power of the Super Saiyan as well to be able to recover. Uh, we're resting one of their battle cards or unisons and then draw a card. And then we have a lot of different plays as well. Uh, but we're actually going to save it uh, for later. Uh, so now our turn four is going to start. We're going to start our turn again. Uh, we already have two of our extras, so we're going to probably get charge something else. Let's charge a Khalifa since we have so many of them as it is. Okay, so uh, at this point in time, we can actually play our Z battle or we can play our big threat here. Uh, she does cost two energy, so it's going to be difficult to play her without uh, any way. So, but we can keep one energy open and play her. So, uh, we're actually going to do that. Before we do anything, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, attack with this and then we'll combo with her uh, underneath. And then it's just going to proc her ability to draw a card and then Z charge this one. So now we have the four things in our Z energy. We're able to facilitate a really nice Z energy uh, flow uh, right off the bat. Uh, let's pay the one energy here to play our uh, Kale here. Our Kale here is able to uh, get critical and draw a card. So let's attack here and then combo with our Khalifa. Let's combo with this Khalifa here. And this Khalifa here is going to allow us to draw a card. But we've already drawn a card. So this is going to allow us to have 15k critical. At the end of battle, we can actually play this card right here and then be able to play this so make sure for, don't forget to use the the kale rampage to rest something and then when you do decide to play this card uh you're able to kale something in rest mode ignoring barrier so you're going to play uh, this card and draw a card uh, when she comes out and then uh, she has dual attack double strike and so you're able to clear anything by uh, placing a card from underneath her to the drop so we're going to place a kale to drop area so when she does attack you can actually kale something now your opponent can only uh, restand four of their cards including their leader so they can they have to make the decision between uh, restanding the leader as well as their uh, battle cards and energy Okay, so it's dual attack, pretty much really strong. You get a plus five boost because uh, you brought out a K Khalifa or Kefla, and you have, do have four more energy to play it, and they're going to attack. Uh, so you have two Khalifas, one energy open, and you have uh, room for Final Flash. You have uh, you don't you can't use this yet until you're at three. Uh, you don't have a kill yet, so it's going to be difficult to play the kill. Uh, but on your opponent's turn, you can probably put, pretty much use this card right here to be able to take yourself down to four. And then now you can be able to, if you can get one more life hit down, or you can play this card for defense. Yellow has you know, one of the best defense in the game. Uh, you can repost here to pay the one energy and then just keep the final flash for later. Uh, and then you have this card for whenever you Z awaken. Most likely, uh, it's going to be really difficult to get rid of all these. But let's say they get rid of this, they get rid of this, and even they get rid of this for somehow. 
so you have some form of defense. When they do decide to uh, only be able to restand four energy, uh, you have this guy to be able to punish that uh, because they have more cards in rest mode. So when you decide to play this guy, you get to draw a card, and then now it's your turn again. You draw a card again, and then you do another Kefla. Uh, looks like we have a kill here as well. So let's charge the final flash here. So at five energy, what we haven't done yet, uh, just so you guys uh, know what the deck can do. Uh, they can pay the one energy here to play the Kale, uh, and then the Kale is really good because then you can do this stuff. Uh, you can also, let's say we took a life last turn so that we're at three life, so we can actually Z Awaken. So make sure before you Z Awaken, you use the ability on the front side to be able to attack and combo a card. So let's try to, yeah, let's track with this kill here, uh, combo with the Khalifa here, uh, draw a card off the ability here, and then she's going to be hitting for 20k uh, double strike. You can Z charge this card. Uh, now you're at three life, so now you can just uh, pretty much, uh, actually, let's try to play a Khalifa here. So let's play a Khalifa or a Kefla. We're going to play a Kefla here for one energy at the end of the damage. That's going to give our uh, Kefla a boost to f uh, 20k. So the power is able to be transferred over. And then we're able to play this card, uh, Rest the Guard. Obviously, we're going to Rest this card with Rampage here. And then KO a battle card using the uh, Kefla here to draw a card. And then now we have a blocker that can combo for free. Uh, so we uh, already have 14 cards in our deck, and our leader is already at 20k. So we have a large, large, large power. So now we are able to uh, attack with. Uh, we're actually kind of Z Awaken right away. So let's just Z Awaken. So let's find our card here and then Z Awaken by sending the materials we need to the drop. So we're going to send a Khalifa here and the Kale. Okay, so now we have a 20k base leader with 20k, uh, 25k uh, right off the bat. Uh, because uh, the power transfers over. So uh, whenever a Kefla gets played, uh, it gets another 5k, so we can actually do that if we decide to tap out. Uh, so let's try not to tap out right away. Uh, we're going to pay the one energy here so that we can play our uh, Kale uh, to be able to uh, basically set up our next fusion play. I believe we've already, we haven't played this Kale yet, so we're going to uh, draw a card when we do play her, and then we're going to combo away our K Khalifa. And at the end of the damage, we can actually play. Uh, we can actually play nothing. Okay, so we can't play anything. But we can pay the two energy to tap out. Let's just try to tap out. Okay, so now we brought this out at the end of the damage, and then now we could uh, draw a card, and then we can actually do double strike, dual attack, making sure that your leader also gets another twenty a uh, ten five k boost. And whenever your Kefla attacks uh, with this leader, then you're able to draw a card with the leader ability. So you're going to be able to draw a card here and uh, also draw a card for her own attack. So she's hitting pretty hard. Uh, double strike, dual attack here, double strike, dual attack here. Uh, being able to clear out battle cards is the key. Uh, you can actually just clear all these stuff. And they can hit for 30k, single strike, draw a card, and rest another battle card. Like, we're pretty much putting a lot of pressure on. There's no kill on the board, so we don't have to take a life. Just mind you that if you do have a kill on board at the end of the turn, you do have to take a life mandatory. So try not to... Uh, uh, keep a kill on board unless you want to take that life okay so we're tapped out we have a z leader so we can pretty much negate <coughs> with this card because uh, we have a z leader and then we don't have a way to negate any more after that but we do have uh, a lot of super combos that we've already been able to see we saw two so far uh, and then every time we combo uh, actually we don't re replace it anymore but we have a 20k base leader uh, which is really nice and we have a blocker too so that's really nice too so we can combo away this card uh, let's just pretend we just draw a bunch of cards and then we can play this card to pretty much counterattack and give our card plus five. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. We Z charge, Z charge. Um, yeah, so I think we've already gone through most of the, the deck. Um, there are some cards that you just never have to utilize um, in this archetype, but you could do it if you want. Uh, it's this ability here to be able to play a Kale from your drop area. So uh, being able to play a Kale in, I believe, it's a one-drop Kale. So there's a one-drop Kale, which is this one. But I don't see the reason why you want to play this one-drop Kale unless you want to put a kill on the battle area so that you could union fusion uh but i don't find that appealing to me as uh, enough but yeah uh, this one also allows you to combo in rest mode so if you pay the one energy you can play the kale uh, from the drop area and uh yeah pretty much play in rest it has to be a four cost so you can rest this uh four cost right here and then uh yeah pretty much you're able to have your kale and khalifa and then being able to play the uh, the fusion material is kind of the idea of the deck i think we've gone through all of the deck already um yeah we've pretty much gone through all the deck so a really fast uh, demonstration video uh, the only thing we haven't really seen is the mighty blast but you pretty much want to play it anyways and earlier turn i just want to showcase you the deck so a pretty strong leader i would say uh being able to 
use all of the powerful yellow cards and also being able to play this really strong battle card that only that taxes basically taxes your opponent so whenever they want to switch any of their uh, cards that are, uh, to active mode they have to consider whether it's worth it or not including the leader because they can only have four uh, but yeah that's the, the demonstration video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll do the um the goku on the next video even though there's already been a lot of uh, tournaments involving the new cards already so yeah i hope you guys see you guys the next one and hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you later